What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We're diving into a Michigan beer, guys. It's going to be Founders Scarlet Dawn IPA, their brand new Session Red IPA. So guys, a sessionable uh, red IPA. I've not seen this from Founders. I believe it's brand spanking new. Uh, coming in at 45 IBUs, 5.1% alcohol, uh, and a can on date of 812. So kind of kind of a little bit older since this was just released like a week or two ago. Today's the fourth, so again, I kind of always have a small complaint when I get quote unquote older beers that have just been released into distribution, but I get it. There's probably a couple factors that come into play to get it into distribution. Probably just doesn't happen like that. So totally get it. Uh, just a small bicker I always have because uh, I'm a beer nerd. So guys, it is what it is. Scarlet Dawn IPA from Founders. We are going to dive into this one. Uh, you kind of have to appreciate a red beer or a red rye. That's I think that's what I remember most from Founders is their Reds Rye IPA, which is super tasty. But you guys got to like that kind of uh, style. Uh, I do. So let's see what this one brings to the table. I wonder if it's like the little brother possibly to it. Um, but I don't believe so. Nothing has been told to me that it is. But uh, I guess we'll make an assumption here. This isn't a rye. So uh, what we have is a nice dark gold, not golden, nice dark brownish copper like dark dark reddish brown copper on here um good carbonation stream into the top off white almost to brownish tinge of head uh or grayish darkishness going on the, the head seems to be dissipating but it's very very dense uh bigger bubbling kind of um going to the wayside here guys it's dissipating pretty quickly but it is quite a dense head there um, that seems to be kind of bursting out of the top of that glass, if you can tell. Good looking beer. Good looking beer with my weird lighting right now, but um, definitely reddish, brownish copper. And I think I'm sticking to that. But more red if you go over here. You can see a little bit more of that reddish. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say it's, it's more red in the light. But again, to the naked eye brownish copper amber hue to it um let's see if i can go to an aroma guys i'm kind of excited for this one a new beer from founders why not they've been trying to do like their older beers and bringing them back recently with the new ownership um and i kind of like to see a new beer as well so that's kind of cool not getting a ton because this head's kind of still sitting on the top here guys wow i'm really not getting much Maybe a, a, a soft maltiness to this, a little bit of like floral complex. I can't tell if it's citrus or, or some kind of like grapefruit. It's tough, guys. This head's really blocking it and it's not really aromatic. Yeah, it's tough to get a nose on this. I'm just going to dive in, guys. This is the brand new Scarlet Dawn IPA from Founders. Let's see what it's about. Oh, wow. Wow. Very florally. Definitely got some Centennial going on here, I'd imagine. Malty breadiness, uh, but not, not heavy. It's, it's very light and actually uh, smooth the way this is going down, but there's definitely this uh, malty kind of um, uh, weedy, rye-ish bread kind of going on in here. Uh, it's not delivering though, like it's a heavy beer. Like again, a 5.1%, it is quite light, but it's bringing a nice uh, dense hoppiness to this beer with nice uh, uh, bitterness on the back end that kind of sh uh, sharply ends this beer. Small grapefruity vibes, like I was thinking. Floral, floral, floral. Soft biscuity maltiness. Uh, a little bit of caramel toffee, toffee maltiness in here as well. Uh, again, guys, not going to be that dense, thick, uh, you know, two-hearted kind of beer. It's got kind of those small vibes with the floral centennial thing. Um, but it's much softer, much easier on the mouthfeel. Goes down a lot smoother. Straightforward. I mean, a little small pine hoppiness, a little bite of bitterness on the back end. Uh, very, very dry, very straight to the point. There's not that many layers to this beer. 
Um, I'm not going to keep going on and on about it. I think it's solid beer. If you like these kinds of styles, this is for you. It is sessionable. It is a Red's. Uh, a red IPA or red sessionable pale ale, if you will. Call it what you will, guys. 5.1. Going down pretty easy. If you like uh, floral hops or floral vibes, like a nice little hop bite, a little bit of biscuity malt, this beer is for you. If you don't like those things, you want to tone them down, this beer would not be for you. But either way, nice light. Still a little bit refreshing on the back end, but again, a little bit of a hot bite that drinks bigger than what it really is, but still soft and easy, guys. At the same time, very straight to the point. Um, yeah, I'm just going to rate this beer right now. There is. There's, there's certain vibes that remind me of an IPA for sure, but like a reddish amber kind of vibe. Um, um, too hard, small, too hard kind of vibe. Um, nice. Just very nice. Uh, I'm going to go 3.8 out of 5. Just 3.8 for me, guys. I like what it's bringing to the table. It's a nice change of pace going into the fall. Um, yeah, 3.8 out of 5. It's been the Scarlet Dawn IPA from Founders. Thank you so much for clicking on the video, guys. I'm Dan. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.